to another episode on LWC stack presented by Salesforce Fold. So guys, in our last example, uh, basically we get the data from the database using the wired with property or wired with function. And also we have already tried the imperative methods to get the data from the server. Okay. So guys, in today's example, we will be sending some parameters to the server and based on those parameters, we will be having the list of accounts. Let's say we can have a text box there and based on, you know, uh, the text in the text box we can get the list of accounts okay so in today's video we'll be having two examples uh, the first one will be to send uh, parameters using the wired function and the second one will be for the imperative one okay so let's start this video quickly so i'm already having a new component the component name is bind wired with param and the javascript okay so first of all guys we will just have the code from our last example which was bind wired with function okay so let's have the html first all right i'm just taking complete html javascript and uh, i will just modify it as per my requirement okay this is the javascript mm -hmm. and let me just copy this line also so i have copied everything from the previous component okay now we will be working on this okay and guys i have already created another function in my account control which is find acc list and this will be sending a string keyword and based on that keyword i have a like condition on my circle and based on that condition it will just return the list of accounts okay so let me just close this and this okay so we will be modifying the html first guys so we can have an input here so let's create a new div and let's have lightning input okay and on change we will call handle on change label will be search account okay and we'll be having value we can store the value in search key okay so looks good to me so we have implemented a input lightning input here in which we'll be taking the input from the user and based on that input we will be displaying the account list so basically we'll be displaying the list uh, on the loaded of the page and we'll be sorting the data based on the user input okay now let's work on fx part so let's change the function name and let's name it find account list and here also we'll be having find acc list we are not printing error anywhere okay so we'll just remove it and here we are just binding the accounts okay and the name is find account list now here guys we will be sending the parameter okay so this is the syntax of sending the parameter so first of all we have to put the parameter name which we are having in the apex so in apex i'm having keyword okay now i have to bind my javascript variable here which is search key okay after that we will bind the accounts and instead of this we can let me just remove it first so instead of this we'll be having handle on change here okay and in handle on on change so we need a search key here first okay in in the search key we'll be having the parameter from the user okay and on handle on change we will just put the value into the search key
so it will be event dot target dot value okay so this was the javascript part guys okay let's save it so guys it will basically call the apex whenever user will type a text into the text box okay so to avoid uh, you know too many uh, apex calls you can have a timer here and based on that timer let's say if you put a three seconds timer then whenever user will type something so after the three seconds of timer it will call the apex and it will search the data accordingly okay but in this example we only having that okay and here also we need to make some changes so we will do this account dot data and here also we will have account dot data okay so looks good to me let's deploy it deploy source to org and it is deployed successfully so this is my page and let me just have that component on this page bind wire with property let me just put it underneath this wired with property okay we forgot to change the name so let me just change the name quickly and deploy it again okay let me just deploy this again all right it is deployed let's go back Okay, it still says wired with property and I'm not able to see the text box also. So let me just check the component one more time. I think we have bind the wrong one here. Okay, yes, we took the wrong component. So this is the component guys, bind wire with param, okay. And we will put it underneath this. This is our component. Let's save it and check the output. So as you can see guys, we are having the list of accounts here as we were having in the wired with property and wired with function. Okay. So while I will type something here, let's say if I put my name here. So as you can see, it, it's just sort, sort the records very quickly because you know, we are not having any kind of timer or anything else here. So using using this like you can send some parameter into your apex and based on those parameter you can just display the records let's say if we type test so it will just display the test record here okay now guys in the next example we will use the imperative method to send the parameters to the apex and based on those parameters we will be just displaying the data Okay, so guys, as I told you earlier, like in imperative method, you need a click to call action to display the data, like it could be a button or it could be any other action like a checkbox, a link button, whatever you like as per requirement. So let's create a new component quickly for that. Okay. And let's name it. Oh, sorry, let me just put the command first. Okay, now let's name it bind with parameters okay let's keep it in the default folder and let me let me just quickly close these additional tabs here okay we need this bind imperative method and we need the JS also so let me just copy the JS file first okay so here it is bind imperative with params so this is the meta and this is the xml okay so we have copied the xml and now we will copy the html and javascript bind imperative method here it is and let's copy the html part first we will modify it later okay so it is copied and let's copy the javascript okay here it is so this is the javascript here it is okay and we will have this import list also because we will be getting the data from the apex all right okay seems fine to me 
bind imperator with params okay bind imperator method let me just close it so we need the html and js here okay bind imperator with perm this is the js and this is the html okay let me close this one also so this is bind wired with param where is my current file find imperator with param okay here is the html guys so in this html uh bind imperator with params okay this is the correct one all right so in this we are having list of accounts and we are just having a function buttons click and on that buttons click we are basically sending the data to the apex sorry we are just getting the data from the apex but in this uh, we will be sending some parameters to the apex and based on that parameter we'll be getting the data okay so we need a lightning input here and we will take the same input which we have used in the last example okay so find wire with param here it is so let's just take this lightning input okay let's close it now so we, we will just paste it here okay so we are having lightning input here guys and i think we don't need to change anything here okay everything seems fine to me all right uh, let's move to the apex part uh, sorry the javascript part now so in javascript part we will have contact we will have search key okay we will change the name of this import this find account list and this will be find a uh, acc list okay now we will add the handle on change event here and on handle on change we will just put the value in search key We will use event or target dot value here to set the value into the search key. Okay, now on buttons click. Let me just call my function here. So this was the old function get account list. Now it is find account. Okay. So it is find account list and we'll be having the parameter here the same way which we had in the last example so first we'll put the parameter name which we are having into the apex so the in apex the parameter name is keyword okay and we will put the parameter here like this this dot search key okay and if the result then set the data and accounts and if any error set the data and error okay and this is also seems fine to me so let me just save it and let's check if we can modify something in the html so let me just modify the title okay let's name it bind uh, imperative methods with parameters okay so i think this was a quick example guys okay let me just deploy it first okay deploy source to bind imperative with params it is deployed successfully now let me just quickly add it to this page All right, here it is. Search for bind imperative with params, and I will put it underneath this uh, wired using imperative method. Okay, we are having the layout here. Uh, let's save this and check out the output. So, guys, uh, in imperative method, you will get the data on click to call actions. Like in in this old method, we will we were getting the data on this click of this button get accounts but here uh, so in the old method we were getting the data 
you are basically getting all the records uh, using the SOQL. But here, guys, we are just adding a filter in these records. We are having a like condition to the SOQL. So let's say if I search for my name here, and if I press on get account, so it will return uh, those accounts which contains my name. Okay. So guys, that's how you can send parameters to imperative methods or to wired methods. And you can get the data based on your requirement, based on the functionality. Okay. So that's it for today, guys. If you like today's video, uh, subscribe to the channel. It will be awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.